Today I replaced the solenoid contacts on my starter motor. The first thing I did was disconnected my battery. Now if you don't know how to do this, close your bonnet and take your bongo to a garage. Underneath the driver's seat you'll find the starter motor. It's behind this big air intake and that's the first thing we need to take off. So undo this clip and this clip. Now we've got easy access to the start motor and we want to disconnect the power cable from underneath. That's a 12mm nut if I remember right. There's also a smaller cable on there which we need to unclip. There's three bolts hold on the start motor. Access is relatively easy and they're positioned at the bottom, at the middle and at the top. Once they're off, then you can take your start motor out and put it on your kitchen bench because I haven't got a garage. 8mm bolts hold on the face plate of the start motor. Undo these, then the face plate will come away. Once the first plate's off, you can remove the piston. Now you'll be able to see the contacts that you want to replace. It's a simple job undoing the nuts on either side. Now remember the order of the washers. There's some rubber washers, plastic bits, etc. When you put the new contacts in, make sure they're sat flat within the start motor. You'll know what I mean when you're doing it yourself. the other side was a bit more stubborn. But it's just a case of reassembling everything and sticking it back in. And the whole job took me around about an hour. Most of that time was spent trying to get the air intake off. and in around about 10 seconds my batteries run out and I couldn't be bothered to go and get my power supply but I think the rest is pretty obvious reassemble it, stick it back on reconnect your battery, Bob's your uncle